effective argument that we can write our differential equation explicitly in terms of dy dx. In other words, that dy dx is explicitly some function of x and y. If it turns out that f and its partial with respect to y are continuous in some region r, then at each point in r, there is a unique solution of dy dx equals f of xy, which passes through x0, y0. You see, notice that in the particular problem that we were just dealing with, what was f of xy? f of xy was this function here. Notice that f of xy will be continuous as long as this expression exists. In other words, f of xy will be continuous as long as y is less than or equal to 1 fourth x squared. What about the partial of f with respect to y? To find the partial of f with respect to y, I have to differentiate this thing. Notice that y is under the integrals, under the square root sign. When I differentiate the square root, the square root comes down into the denominator. I can't allow a zero denominator, so that tells me that not only must, must y be less than or equal to 1 fourth x squared, but rather y must be less than 1 fourth x squared, because if y equaled 1 fourth x squared, when this factor comes down into the denominator, I'm in trouble. I have a zero denominator. Notice, by the way, the bad solution that we got. In other words, notice that where we got the two solutions occurred where y was equal to 1 fourth x squared, and our key theorem doesn't apply in that case, because notice that our key theorem says that the solution will be unique only in that region r where f and f sub y are continuous. You see, notice that below the parabola, f and f sub y were continuous. In other words, th th these functions couldn't go bad in our problem. Consequently, since we had one solution of the form y equals cx minus c squared that passed through every point that was below the parabola, the fact that this theorem applies says there can't be any other solution because once you found one solution, that's all there are. That's exactly what you mean by unique. See, in other words, if the solution is unique, 